Hello, my name is Eunice, as you all know. Um, I have some goodies that I want to sh um, open with you guys together. So this is on packaging, some good stuff from Amazon. I have some from Huda Beauty. I have some from Colourpop. So let's just see. It's not a tutorial. It's just a plain um, unpackaging of some good stuff, as I mentioned. So if you're interested in what I've got in my mailbox, stay tuned. So let's start with this package I just received from Colourpop. Okay, so this is how the box comes comes all right made in LA and then go ahead and open it let's see what good stuff Colourpop has for me today now I see a lot of their very vivid gel eyeshadows so I got plenty of them I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is, let's start with the ColourPop Jelly Match March Shadow. Okay, this is how that looks. And let's go inside of this little guy and see what it has so when you open it this is what you see in there villains color pop so this is how it is let's open it it has a nice cover so that it doesn't spill everywhere let's open that and oh yeah it's very jelly okay so I'll go ahead and take a little scoop of that with my shadow brush and let's see I will use this on top of my makeup as a glitter look at this this is so beautiful it's like a silverish metallic and multicolored shine particles in there very beautiful so let's go ahead and close that back now with this there is no need of worrying about spilling and splashing everywhere because it's gel I'm more excited about the colorful ones like this here this is the Colourpop um, Prince okay it's Prince P R A N C E. Okay, I hope you can see it. <clears throat> and it's the color name is 19E3 cream gel color. Okay, and this is like a uh, oh my lord, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to use these babies. It's like a very babyish blue. Let's see this. Oh, wow. And it blends so beautifully, as you can tell. Okay. So this is the um, 19E3. Okay. It's called Prince. Let's put that back in here. Go to the next one. I choose the ColourPuff BFF Cream Gel Color. Okay. BFF cream gel color let's open that so just as this is Prince this is called BFF now look at this shade of purple OMG I'll go ahead and swatch a little bit on this side oh I took too much oh my lord you talk about pigments baby look at this purple so beautiful and I know this will look amazing on my complexion when I put it on. Get with the program, guys. Gel color is all it is right now. Gel colors eyeshadows. Now we move on to the color 
punch. Oh, 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 oh. Now, are you kidding me? Look at this yellow, baby girl. Look at this yellow. Boom. Let's put it right on top here. Oh, I'm going to mess it up with the purple. Let's put that on top of the yellow. I'm going to use my fingers to just... Oh, my God. Do you see this yellow? Do you see this? Do you know the miracles I will do with this yellow? Look at the contrast between the yellow and the pep purple. Beautiful. Let's put that to the side. Move on to the color puffy. Okay? This is puffy BFF. So all of them are BFFs. Yes. Okay. Now look at this orange. This is puffy. All right. This is the color puffy. Look at it. And girl, get into it. Oh my Lord, look at this orange baby girl. Look at this orange. Can you picture this on my eye? Oh, somebody scream pigment. Mm. Gonna gradually move on to the next color which will be um what is this oh let's see, let me see the back of it it's called the exit now this is white i've been looking for a white gel color for so long because i want it for the under eye the waterline this I'm so glad I finally got I'm so glad I finally got a white one let's put that right on top of the um, orange look at this come on baby girl this is beautiful we're moving on to the next candy oh, my favorite one of my favorite now this is called Venice Look at this red. Oh my lord. Scoop a little bit and put it right on top of the white. Buff it, buff it. Look at this. I'm telling you, all these colors are so vividly potent. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at this contrast. Thank you, color pop. Like this is really the shit. Now, last but not the least from ColourPop will be the color Teaspoon. Look at this. This is a beautiful leafy green color called Teaspoon. I'll put that right on top of the red. And oh, look at that. Now, can you imagine this on my eyes? Baby girl, get into it, baby girl. Gorgeous, okay? So, now we're done with all the amazing color. And by the way, I'm expecting like four or six more colors. I also picked up this from good old Amazon. This is one of the banging lashes that's out there today. As full as drama, it just give you statements, okay? And now we're gonna move on to this amazing eyeliner stencils that I got. It's basically stickers for eyeliner. Bow. Do you see this wing? Are you kidding me? Now, this is the creator of this amazing invention. Um, he's, his name is Augustine Fernandez. This is he who created this amazing um, eyeliners. 
is basically cat eye wings for um, those who have unsteady and shaky hands like myself. Get with the program. Okay, I got this on Instagram. I also got my good old curling iron. Anybody who is about hair or a hairdresser or has curl hair before would know this will give you the perfect heat you need. It gives you the perfect shine. It's just a very good brand I recommend. Okay. I also got this, like I told you guys, I got some from Huda Beauty. Okay, when you open, Huda gives you the nice leafy wraps. And inside the box, I just wish Huda Beauty had a nice box that says Huda Beauty. But I guess it's okay because the plastic says Huda Beauty on, the bubble plastic. And let's see what I got. Boom, I've been looking for this color, Menti and Metal. Metal. I've been looking for this color for the longest. Every time I went on the site, it was sold out. Sold out. And like one day I was just playing on his web our site, looking at stuff. And I just clicked on it again, like I do every day. And it says available. I ordered it immediately. This is so amazing. Like, look at this. This is the mint green that it's popping now. And I know that's going to be the look for this summer. And then this is the metal that goes with it. And by the way, I will do tutorial um, putting on full makeup with this because I just can't wait to use it. So now this is called... Um, Matte and metal, okay, from Huda Beauty. Um, the same Huda Beauty, I got this from them, and um, this one is if I could open it, okay. This one is the same, um, matte and metal, but in the color limelight. That's how it's called. So this is matte and metal limelight. And this is matte and metal. Um, minted and dinero. Minted. Minted and then dinero. So minted and dinero. And this is limelight. Okay. This is some amazing, amazing, amazing color too. And... Don't forget, that is also creamy. Okay, this is not um, gel. This is creamy. A, a little goes a long way because I have other colors. And this is just to pop it. So I put that right underneath. You see, one is like dull and one is shiny. It's just beautiful. I will do a full face tutorial on this. How to mix match it. Okay. So I got this too. With a beauty. And then I got the Huda Beauty um, Concealer in the color Hazel. I got this because I feel like before I put on my um, eyeshadow, I always like to put a little concealer. But all the concealers that I have is kind of too white for me. So, like I said, I was on her site you know scrolling through and I came across this and I feel like that will match my complexion perfectly look at that you know with the eyeshadow primer that's just me I don't want no whitish primer I want a primer that's like a, a, a shade lighter than my actual complexion so that on top of the eyebrow bone when you leave that it will not look bad it will look like it was purposefully purposefully placed there then you put your shimmer on top. Look at how it blends with my skin. Like if I keep tapping it, it will melt straight into my skin and you will not even recognize it. And that's how I like my eyeshadow primer. So I'm very pleased with that. These things, I'm sorry, they are not cheap, but they are very, very good. So um, that's that. The Huda Beauty Eye Primer. 
Well, it's just a primer, but I'm going to use it as a eyeshadow primer. Now, I also picked this up from um, the Beauty Supply because if you know me, you know I used to color my hair a lot. All of them started breaking off. So, this is um, a leave-in conditioner that I used to recommend for my clients when I had the salon. If your hair is breaking, you use that like once a day and it really, really stops the breakage. So, I got one for myself. Another great Bible that I lived by when I had the salon was Dr. Miracle Products. All his lines are amazing. This is the um, daily anti-breakage um, strengthening, strengthening cream is how it looks. The same thing. Um, if your hair is shedding or breaking a lot, I recommend this. It's very good. Like I'm talking about literally in like two weeks, you will see your hair um, limiting the shedding or the breakage. It's very, very good. Um, I also got me a wig cup. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this particular wig cup is that I'm a dark skin chocolate mama, right? Now, it seems like all the beauty supply only have the beige colors. Like, it's very hard to come across the brown, the dark brown color for my skin. Look at that. All I need to do is put a little, very little um, foundation or whatever that I use for my face just to blend it. And it will be beautiful. I hate that beige color for my skin. If you're a light skin, beige color is okay. But for me, the brown or the dark brown is what's up. So I got like 10 of them. Um, I also got this scalp from Beauty Supply. You know, after you put your lace on, if you want it to look like what lace, you need to tie it down. So boom, I got this, which I'm excited about. I also got this um, uh, contour brushes, which I'm very, very happy about because this is strictly for contouring your face, like your cheeks, um, in between your nose, you know, the nose line to get your nose snatched and um, a little blush, you know, it's, it's just beautiful. It comes with three different brushes just to get your eyes snatched like that. And I got it from my good old Amazon. That's my go-to place for almost everything. Um, I also got this amazing e.l.f. Um, line and Define line tape, okay, from e.l.f. But guess what? I bought it from Amazon because when I went to e.l.f.'s um, website, it was a little bit expensive than Amazon. So I went ahead and I got the same thing, but from Amazon. Now, I usually use tape. This takes place, takes um, the tape's place because it, it looks more stylish, more professional. I don't know. I'd rather this than the tape. So I got that. I also got this. I have so many lipsticks, like so many. But it's so funny that I don't have an orange color. Like it's, it's, I don't understand. I never bought an orange lipstick. Not that I don't want it, but I never found it. So I went on Milani color statement. I went on Milani website and I found this beautiful um, orange color and it's matte finish and I loved it. So I'm glad I got it. Look, as you can see, it's from Milani. I don't know if the light is reflecting and you can't see it, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. Look at the look at the pigment on this baby. And you know I have full lips, so I will use a liner and a little girl for long way. Oh my god. Can someone say summer? I am ready. This is gorgeous. 
<laughs> I can't wait to use it. Yep. So I got my lipstick. And last but not the least, I got me a professional 3000 turbo hand dryer. When I tell you this baby is hot and what I love most about it is it's cold as well. You can't go wrong. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, why buy the expensive dryer when you could get a, a $20 or a $40 or whatever at the store? Baby, the way your hair comes out, most of the times, strongly depends on the tools you're using, okay? The more quality your blow dryer, your flat iron, your curling iron, um, you name it, even down to the comb will determine how smooth, frizz free, you know, those little hair that be standing out, all of that would depend on the tools you use. So if you want your work or whatever you're doing when it comes to hair to look flawless, please invest in some good tools because it really helps. Now, lastly... This is the wig. It's a dreadlock wig that I got from um, Sensational. I saw this on YouTube and it just looks amazing. So I got me one and I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on this, how to put it on and everything. Look at how it looks. This is the blonde, obviously I wasn't gonna go for that. And so I got the natural color. So it comes in the box like this. And when you open it, it comes with this curls, which I don't like. So I will show you guys how I treat this hair before I put it on, okay? Basically, I will have to put it in hot water, get all this straight and firm, and then cut it off because, you know, no real dreadlocks have curls at the end. So I understand why they would do that to make, you know, the selling point look a little like beautiful, but I'm not gonna wear it with the curls. So I will literally cut it to this, especially it's hot these days too, to have it short. It also comes with this baby hair that you could slick down and basically lace it the way you want. Now this is Swiss lace, okay? So it's very thin, and I think the late the lace will complement my complexion very well. Um, if not, like I said, I could put a little foundation on just for it to match my color, and that's it. So stay tuned, and I'll let you guys know how I install this dreadlock wig. Thank you for joining me on my um unpackaging some good stuff um i'll catch you guys later stay tuned